provide cautionary time and key signatures. Uh, this comes often uh, comes up often in class when we're uh, recreating worksheets and we have to switch time and key signatures. So I will show you um, time signatures first. Uh, right now we have uh, four bars of four four. I created two staves and put a title on my worksheet. Um, to add uh, four bars, we're gonna just do Command B uh, four times. I find it easy when we're doing a small amount of bars. One, two, three, four. And we notice I put it all in one line. I want two separate lines, so the way to do that is to click on the bar line and to hit enter. And now you have two staves of four four. I'm gonna get rid of these uh, titles here. We don't need those. So now I have two uh, staves of four bars each. Uh, I want to do a couple maintenance things. I want to join these in as, as, as if they're a system. So I'm going to take that bar line and drag it. See the bar line, you can drag it to connect it for groups um, so that they look uniform. The other thing I want to do is put a double bar here. So I right click and I select double bar and I put the double bar there. Now I'm just going to create a silly little melody. Um, so you can see that there's some notes here. Um, and I'm just going to do the first four. And I'm just doing this with the R key and who knows if it even would sound good, but that's not the point of this exercise. So now I have my first four bars and I want it to be this little ditty that I have in, in um, G major. Um, great. So now I know that I want this next section to be in 3-4 because my next little um, uh, assignment that I need to do on the worksheet's in 3-4. So if we're going to create 3-4, we select these four bars and we hit T to bring up the time signature panel and we hit 3-4, simple as that. But look at what happens is we get this cautionary time signature here and it really makes the worksheets look a little busy and crowded and you don't want that. So the way you have to do this when you create the time signature to hide that cautionary uh, time signature and I'm going to undo using control Z and now I'm going to hit T again for to bring up my time signature panel. And I'm gonna hit three, I'm not gonna hit three, four this time because I get the same thing. I'm gonna hit more options and I'm gonna hit three, four and I'm gonna make sure that right here, this allow cautionary is not checked. Okay, make sure it's not checked and we say okay. And now look at, I have three, four and there are no cautionary time signatures which makes everything look nice and neat. Now key signatures are done a little differently. If we're gonna create a key signature, uh, we highlight the measures that we wanna create the key change in, and we hit K, and we change the key. Let's say we wanna to go to B flat major. We go to B flat major, now great, we got B flat major, we got four bars of B flat major, but we have these cautionary accidentals over here. This is great if you're creating a part, but in a worksheet, again, it gets a little busy. So there's one way to, there's many ways to do this. I don't want to say there's one way to do this, but the easy way to do this is to actually hide this key signature. And you do that by clicking on the first one, then hitting your command key or your control key on a PC and right clicking and hide that key signature, hide or show. And now it's hidden. You see how it turned uh, uh, grayed out kind of, that means it's hidden. And now we want to fix this bar so that it's a full bar and you don't have this little dangle here on the end. So we select these two bars, we go to our appearance tab, and we reset our note spacing. And now you notice that you have four bars of uh, G major, and now four bars of B flat major. You have no cautionary time signatures and no cautionary uh, key signatures. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I'll answer them for you. I hope to do some more of these. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and this helps you out a little bit.